Hello and welcome to the 3D Slicer tutorial. This tutorial is about image phenotyping using the radiomics extension in 3D Slicer. This video is part of an assignment for the medical imaging course offered by Dr. Subramanyam Gorthi of the Department of Electrical Engineering in IIT Tirupati. So what is radiomics? It is a rapidly evolving field which is concerned with the extraction of quantitative metrics from medical images. It generally aims to extract quantitative and ideally reproducible information from diagnostic images, including complex patterns that are difficult to recognize or quantify by the human eye. The potential applications include the prediction of treatment response and outcomes, tumor staging, identification of different kinds of tissue, and assessment of cancer genetics. Radiomics features capture tissue and lesion characteristics such as heterogeneity and shape which can be used for clinical problem solving. An extension called Slicer Radiomics helps us extract radiomics data from medical images using 3D Slicer. The upcoming video tutorial is based on the image phenotyping tutorial by Sonia Pujol PhD. These are the references used for the tutorial and presentation. With that, Let's now dive into the tutorial. So this is 3D Slicer. Um, first I'm going to load some sample data to work with. Here I'm going to load this MR brain tumor 1. So this is uh, an MR image of a brain tumor patient. So we're going to extract the features from this tumor using the radiomics package. But first we must segment this tumor out in order to perform any operations on it. So first we go to segment editor and we want to segment this out. So we add a layer, now let's call this tumor. For convenience, let's switch orientations to one slice and identify where the tumor is. So here is the tumor. Now we can segment out this tumor using the grow from seeds uh, algorithm. So this needs us to tell 3D slicer uh, about what pixels belong to the tumor and what pixels don't. So we have to give 3D slicer seeds and from the seeds it will figure out which is where is the tumor and uh, we will basically segment the tumor out. So first we use the paint tool to plant these seeds. Uh, so in we can just mark some pixels in the tumor for consecutive slices and then let us add another layer called background. So this tells 3D slicer what pixels do not belong to the tumor. So to the same slices that we have marked before we can mark the background pixels as well. We can also mark in other orientations. Let us switch to the 4 up layout. Here we can identify the tumor and mark the background pixels here as well. Now this should be enough to use the grow from seeds. So we will initialize it. Yeah, and we can see now that the tumor, the green part is the tumor and the yellow part is the background. So we can apply this results by clicking apply. And now we can see that a lot of tumor has been segmented out. But then notice here that some additional part has also been segmented. Uh, this is due to the inherent problem with this image. Uh, there is some disturbance here, right? So we can edit that out by using the scissors tool. First let us 
see the segment in 3D. So I'll switch to the 3D only layout. So let's zoom in. And we can see that this additional part has also been segmented out. So we can cut this out using the scissors tool. Uh, first, okay, select the tumor layer and then use the scissors tool. So now that we have gotten the segmented tumor, we can proceed and we can calculate the volume of the tumor too. So here we, I went to uh, quantification and segment statistics. Here we can just select the original image, the brain tumor one, and then the segmentation. Segmentation. This is the title of the segmentation that we have made, and now. We can uh, switch to a conventional view and then click on apply. So this will give us the volume of the segmented tumor. So we can see that uh, the volume is 17.44 centimeter cube. So uh, now we can also uh, perform phenotyping using the radiomics package go to informatics and then radiomics. Uh, make sure to install the radiomics package uh, using the extensions manager. Uh, it's a straightforward process. Now we can uh, select radiomics and here just select segmentation. So uh, and here in the extraction customization drop down we can select what all features that we want extracted. So I'll select first order and GLCM and then I will create a new table. On pressing apply, uh, the radiomix package should generate some features, but uh, there is some error that's showing up in this radiomix package. For some reason, the segmentation is not being processed properly. So what I've done is I have saved the segmentation uh, I have saved the segmentation file uh, as segmentation.seg.nrrd. This particular file is not being processed because of this dot. Uh, I am not sure what the error is, but what I have done is I have saved it locally and I have renamed it to segmentation-seg.nrrd. Now if I use this. instead of the segmentation that we've just made, uh, I've saved the same thing and I have re-uploaded with another name segmentation hyphen seg instead of segmentation dot seg. Now if I use this and click on apply, it gives me the features. So the initial columns, uh, initial rows are just some metadata and some uh, about the image and then here are the features, first order features that have been generated. So here we have 10 percentile, 90 percentile, energy, entropy, maximum, mean, median. Uh, there are also other features, GLCM features that we have selected. Um, so more information about these features can be found in the pyradiomics documentation. And now since we have extracted all these features, we can save them. I'll just click on save. So if you just want to save this particular table, it is 
table one, right? So if you want to just save this table, you can save it in either a text file or tab separated values or comma separated values. I'll save it as comma separated values and I can click on save. Now, once you have done that, this, this table file is generated. I've generated this before itself, but uh, this is the same table that we have generated right now. Now, yeah, now we can see that all of this data has been stored in a TSP file. Now we can use this anywhere that we want. We can import this data and we can use this elsewhere. So this is how we extract features from a 3D image from a tumor through 3D slicer.